Hi fifth graders! Today you're going to be completing the drawing portion of your cathedrals as well as cutting those out so that when I see you next week all you will need to do to complete this project is glue your cathedral on the background. Um, just a quick reminder because it's been a couple weeks um, we have been discussing and reviewing the last several weeks as we've worked on these this idea of contrast so as you complete the designs in your cathedral towers today, you want to keep in mind contrast, meaning two towers that are next to each other, if they both have very light values or they both have very dark values, they tend to blend together. So you want to be sure to have light values by darker values and vice versa. Um, this way, your towers will stand out next to each other instead of all blending together. Uh, the way you create those light and dark values is, of course, through your designs, which are looking really excellent, by the way. I went through your artwork again just before I made this, and I'm very excited about the variety of design and also your attention to detail. So here is my example, um, and I know it's not very complete yet, but you can see that I'm working to create both um, light values and dark values, and as I continue to fill this in, I'll make sure that those are in a contrasting fashion. The other thing to keep in mind, and sometimes this is hard if we've been working on a project a while, but is to keep up that careful craftsmanship. So for example, if I'm coloring in a space or adding a design, so let's say that I'm adding some more of these stripes here, sometimes I might start rushing and what happens is we get these little, little spots that happen where maybe our lines extend too far or it just isn't looking as neat as it could. Part of your job in this project is to constantly be problem solving. So if that happens, I want you to think about how that can become a part of your design. Um, in this case, because I am adding stripes above and below, let me go ahead and add some and see if it happens to work out. So here, this one kind of got absorbed in the design, but I can still see this little line sticking up here, and that's kind of bothering me. Um, so what I could do, since it didn't get completely covered with this design I added, is perhaps I'm just going to thicken this line here. And I probably won't want to thicken just that single one because it will really stand out, but I could go through now, and on this tower, I could add an extra layer to all of those lines. And now they all become a bit more bold. I actually like how that looks. They stand out a bit better, which is nice. And that spot that did look messy, now is not an issue at all. I don't notice it at all. It's completely absorbed into that design. So that's a nice way to problem solve. Okay, and it could continue on there. So really be aware of contrast and also craftsmanship. Those are two areas of focus today. Once your cathedral is completely um, colored, and remember you really want to pay attention to each tower and each layer. I know it might seem like a lot of parts, but it's really worth the effort. These are really looking great. Um, once you're finished, then you're going to go ahead and cut out your cathedral. And what's really important with this cutting step, I know you know how to cut, so this might seem silly I'm even talking about cutting, but you want to be cutting ex exactly, precisely on this outside line. So you don't want to have a white edge and then the black line. You want to be sure to cut exactly on that black line. Um, because when you glue these on those colorful backgrounds that you painted last week, if you have a white edge, it's really going to show up and it's really going to just take away from how great these drawings are. So as you cut out, cut out exactly precisely on that black line, no white edges showing. So when you pull away this scrap, we shouldn't see any extra white edge. As you continue to cut, um, be very careful around the roofs. I know often these little areas here tend to get missed, so often what I see students do is something like this. So what you can see here, and this is something really common, every year with this project with fifth grade, um, I see this. When there's these little pointed areas between towers, they tend to get missed. There's like a little white triangle that gets left in there. I know that those can be a little bit tricky to cut, but a great solution is just to cut in from one side, take your scissors out, and cut in from the other, and it makes it a lot easier than trying to turn your scissors in that small space. But that very precise and careful cutting is going to make a big difference. So when you're done cutting out, 
your cathedral should be just one solid piece because remember all of the towers are connected. So you'll have one solid piece with the background cut away. And the last thing you'll need to do is just flip your cathedral over and make sure that you have a name on it. I wouldn't write it in Sharpie because the Sharpie will be th bleed through, but a pencil or a pen will work great. And start to write cathedral, that's not what I need. Um, just write your name. Most of you have your name on the front and so as you cut away the background, it will no longer show. So go ahead and flip and just put your name on the back. Um, that is all that you need to accomplish today. And I can't wait to glue these on and complete them next week when I see you. Have a wonderful week, fifth graders, and I'll see you soon.